Switzerland's Federal Council approved the export of 25 Panzer 87, PZ-87, main battle tanks to Germany, representing a significant development within the context of Switzerland's policy of strict neutrality. This decision follows Germany's request in a letter dated February 23, 2023, where the German Minister for Economic Affairs, Robert Habeck, and Minister of Defense, Boris Pistorius, sought the sale of decommissioned PZ-87 tanks. The Swiss Armed Forces currently operate 134 PZ-87 WE tanks, modernized under the 2006 armament program, along with 96 PZ-87 tanks that are not in use and have not been maintained. The decommissioning of 25 PZ-87 main battle tanks, approved by the Council of States on September 26, 2023, marked the initiation of the application process for the export license to Rainmetal, which is the original manufacturer of the Panzer 87 tanks. The Swiss government's commitment to a policy of neutrality has presented a noteworthy challenge. Following more than a year of negotiations, the Swiss Federal Council ultimately approved the export of 25 PZ-87 tanks to Germany. A critical condition of the agreement specifies that these tanks must not be directed to Ukraine. The Swiss Federal Council has underscored the significance of Germany's assurances, emphasizing that the tanks should remain within specific regions such as Germany, NATO, or EU partners, addressing existing shortages. Despite this condition, a potential loophole in the agreement was reported by David Axe on November 23, 2023. It is conceivable that Rainmetal might sell the ex-Swiss tanks to a country already utilizing Leopard 2A4S, possibly with German government financing. Subsequently, this country could donate its own Leopard 2A4S to Ukraine, potentially circumventing Switzerland's neutrality stance. This potential scenario could unfold within Germany's Ringtosh program, known as a circular exchange. In this initiative, Germany provides weapons to re-equip allied countries, and reciprocally, the recipient nation, acting as an intermediary, contributes a portion of its existing weaponry to Ukraine. This program is part of Germany's broader efforts to encourage other nations to provide additional heavy weapons support to Ukraine. For instance, Germany has participated in a tank exchange with the Czech Republic, where 14 German Leopard 2A4S and a Bergpanzer III Buffel recovery vehicle were exchanged for at least 40 older Czech T-72 tanks destined for Ukraine. With the imminent acquisition of 25 fresh ex-Swiss Leopard 2A4-based Panzer 87 tanks, Germany could potentially sell these tanks to Poland, for example, facilitating Poland's ability to send more Leopard 2A4S to Ukraine. The addition of another 25 Leopard 2A4S, regardless of their origin, could significantly enhance Ukraine's military capabilities. In conjunction with the 14 additional Leopard 2A4S Germany has already committed to, this could potentially allow for the establishment of a second brigade with its tank battalion. This additional capability could also function as a backup for existing Leopard 2A4 units, providing maintenance support and replacing combat losses. The Swiss Army acquired 380 Panzer 87 tanks in the 1980s, which are Swiss versions of the German Leopard 2A4 main battle tank. In the 2010s, 134 of these tanks were upgraded to the PZ-87 WE standard for ongoing service, and the surplus ones were sold off. The remaining 96 unimproved tanks were placed in storage, and they are reported to be among the better preserved Leopard 2A4S tanks in the world. Since the start of the Russian invasion, Ukraine has expressed interest in acquiring them, potentially through an intermediary like Germany. The PZ-87, with PZ standing for Panzer, or Tank in English, is a Swiss-licensed version of the Leopard 2A4 main battle tank. Production began in 1984, with the first 35 built in and supplied by Germany, and the remainder manufactured in Switzerland. The PZ-87 differs from the Leopard 2A4 with specific features, including the use of N-VCR-12 radio sets, two 7.5mm machine guns, one coaxial and one on the top of the turret, and additional snow grouses on the turret side. An upgraded version, the PZ-87 Wii, Wörterhaltung, represents the most modern iteration of the PZ-87. 
The final PZ-87 We, one of 134 upgraded, was delivered to the Swiss Army in 2013. The upgrades included improvements to battlefield management, communications capabilities, and the installation of a new commander's independent site. Despite early prototypes in 2003 featuring new armor packages, sighting equipment, and a remote weapon station, the actual PZ-87 we did not receive the full suite of upgrades initially proposed by Swiss defense company Rook.